Here are the current NFL standings through week 12. We are heading to week 13. Ravens are 10 and 2, Niners are 9 and 2, Bills are 10 and 2, Broncos are 9 and 2, Saints and Falcons. Saints are 9 and 2, Falcons are 8 and 3. But uh as you can see, um no Patriots are popping up. We will be taking on the 6 and 5 Chargers uh, who are on a two game losing streak and this will be the final um, game of the season because you're about to find out why if we go all the way down to the 31st team I guess the Jets are 0 11 yes that is correct the Patriots at 1 in 10 we have lost eight games in a row and I have played every single one of those games and we have lost the last time we won was week two or was it week three I think it was week three against the Jets who are 0 and 11 so we're primed for that number two overall pick in the draft. And yeah, one in ten, lost eight in a row, not good. It would be nice to get a win. Uh, we have yet to win at home this season. It will be a home game against the Chargers. Um, and on the road, we won, obviously, once. And looking at those losses, Cowboys, we lost by two scores. Uh, the Saints game, which I think I uploaded because I was supposed to upload the Cowboys and messed up and accidentally simulated. We only lost by two points. Then, all these other games I played on my own. We lost by one point to the Raiders. We lost by two points to the Bills. We lost by a touchdown to the Dolphins. We got blown out by the Commanders and the Colts. We lost by six points to the Giants. So, one, two, three, four, five out of our eight losses have all been within one score. Some within a point or two. So we could easily be right now six and five, but of course we're not because we cannot close out these close games. Now we're going up against Chargers. My idea was to play the Chargers, play the Chiefs, and then end the uh, season against the Bills. But since we're one and ten, I don't see any need to play the rest of the games or upload the rest of the games of the season. I'm going to play this Chargers game because they are my favorite team, uh, and hopefully we can get a win because right now they are in the hunt. For the playoffs, if we go to look at the playoff picture, currently week 8 on 13, they are the 6th seed. The Dolphins are the 7th seed. So the Chargers need this win to stay in the hunt. Let's go look. Actually, I before we get in, I did tone down the um, simulation, I mean the skill level, to all pro instead of all Madden. All Madden was just ridiculous, dude. I could never get anyone open. I would constantly get blitzed, and it was near impossible to play looking at the stats on the season for lewis 2200 passing yards 12 touchdowns and 12 picks we're definitely not hitting that 30 touchdown mark we need 18 touchdowns within five weeks of the season or within the next how many games is there we're one in ten so the six more games left this season so 18 touchdowns in six games would be the need in order to get uh to the 30 touchdown mark which would be, what, three touchdowns a game, I believe? Three times six? Um, I might have didn't know. I'm stu No, I think I'm right. Yeah, three times six. 18. So we would need three touchdowns in the rest of our games this season. I have 253 rushing yards with five rushing touchdowns. So without further ado, let's head to, into this game against Justin Herbert and the Chargers. Our defense has been pretty solid. Not as of late, but throughout the season, our defense has been the only bright spot of this team so let's see if we can slow down the charges and hopefully the offense is clicking enough where we can get a win first we got a message x factor safety heads up i'm going to do you a favor this week i'm going to pick off a few of your passes i'm going to force a few fumbles and when it's all said and done you'll be a better qb i'm going to intimidate james because that's like the medium so um we'll do that accumulate 250 yards of total offense it's going to be difficult but i think it could be possible here we are in gillette Stadium week 13 matchup the 1 and 10 Patriots against the 6 and 5 Chargers Herbert versus C J Lewis is the matchup today Let's see if we can go out and make the Chargers look like the real life Chargers and they're gonna lose to a 1 and 10 team As long as Brandon Staley is coaching this Chargers team. We have a chance We have a chance to win the game in real life. He's obviously been fired very inaccurate pass i was in the pocket no pressure and extremely inaccurate madden you we gotta be joking the that is a pass i wish i could have back because there's just no way that is that inaccurate 
Going to throw it. Another inaccurate pass, and it's picked off by Michael Davis. And, of course, the Chargers are going to capitalize with a touchdown on that. I, I can't believe why my passes are so inaccurate, dude. I have the stats. Like, my accuracy, especially short and medium, are pretty damn good. It's my deep passing that I understand would be inaccurate. But these short and medium passes should not be a difficulty for me, but they always are. I don't, I really don't. I've touched the sliders and everything. Ramondre Stevenson's going to get a big reception. He's going to be going. He could go the distance, and he's going to get stopped by Asante Samuel Jr. 39-yard reception for Stevenson. I mean, it worked so well. Let's try it again, but this time, Ty Montgomery on the screen. Let's see if we can get the blocks in the pocket. We get a block. We have blockers, and that's going to be a first down. New set of downs. We're starting to move the ball. Let's see if we can continue that. I'm going to kick it to Montgomery. I'm going to use my running backs. Three straight passing plays. Three straight completions to the running backs. And we are down to the 14-yard line. Can we score here in the first quarter? It has not been easy this season scoring at all. Let's see if we can do it. Ty Montgomery, it's inaccurate. He catches it. Touchdown. The Patriots tie it up. Ty Montgomery. Four straight passes. Three of them go to Ty Montgomery. And the Patriots are going to tie up this game. Chargers end up scoring, which is never good. Um, but a touchdown in the first um, half is huge for us. Something we don't get off there. Ramondre Stevenson with a nice run. Ramondre gave us a second and one. We're going to give him the ball right back and see if he can get us his first down. Ramondre Stevenson is going to get us the first down and a little bit more. He gets down to the 41. He's got 21 on the ground. New set of downs, and they're pressing Devontae Parker. Let's see if he can get past his man. He does. It's a bomb, and it's deflected because Madden has awful ball trajectory. All right, second and 10 after that. Abysmal pass that really should have been a completion. I'm going to wait for is that Kasiki? It's deflected again. And just like that is third and ten. They're double teaming Parker. We have all we we have no protection in the backfield. I'm gonna pass it. How is it that inaccurate? I'm not under pressure or anything. Like, bro, I seriously gotta mess with this accuracy slider because I, I'm like, I don't understand why every pass is inaccurate. I understand it's probably because of the meter. I'm throwing this high pass. So, Devontae, and he drops it. I mean, if I'm throwing good balls and they're just dropping it, there's nothing I can do. There is quite literally nothing I can do. Ty Monger, it seems like my, my running backs have better hands than my receivers. And Joey Bolster goes down for the Chargers. That's huge. Not only does that stop the clock, but... That means Joey Bosa could be out the game. We don't know, obviously, the injury yet. I'm going to go straight to Kasiki. It's going to, like, I don't I don't understand why every pass I'm throwing is inaccurate. And it's an immediate, immediate 24-7 to 7 lead for the Chargers. How? That should be roughing the passer. But once again, inaccurate. Roughing the passer. We get bailed out. But, like, boy... I'm going to mess with that slider so bad. I don't care who gets upset about it, but, like, this is unplayable where every pass I'm throwing is inaccurate. There we go. Finally, I get some sort of accurate pass. We're going to call a timeout here. Thank you. Over the middle, Gasicki. New set of downs. First and 10 after a Gasicki reception. Can we get something going? See, that I'm under pressure there, and it's an accurate pass. We're going to use our last timeout. There's no excuse for I'm under pressure there, and that's accurate. But when I'm not under pressure, it's just an immediate. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to throw it away here. I'm, I have no choice. Third and inches, 19 seconds left. If we can't get this conversion, I need to make sure I throw the ball away. I'm just gonna throw it up. Tyquan Thornton, and it's deflected. We're gonna have to settle for a field goal. No, he missed. He missed. He missed. Like, oh my lord! I can't believe he actually missed that field goal. That could have made a two-possession game right there. We get the ball in the second half, and he goes and misses a field. There's no excuse for that. There is no one near me. Bro, I want to see this replay. There is no one near me when I hike this ball. My feet are set, and what? Like, why? How is this ball inaccurate, Madden? How do I whip it to the sideline? How is that? In, how is that? In, I'm done. 
I'm throwing my accuracy all the way up because this is ridiculous. This is unnecessary. I don't understand how every ball I'm throwing is just not accurate. Feet set and everything. Juju Smith wide open in the middle of the field. The game's over, by the way. It's 45 to 7. It's 45 to 7. Right now, this is just garbage time because ne next episode one, it will be at the end of the season, so it won't really matter. But you are seeing I am going to mess with the sliders so heavily. And that's going to do it. 45 to 14 is your final score. Abysmal. Abysmal game, dude. Um, that was the last game we've seen of this season. I'm going to mess with these sliders so heavily. Here are the stats. I don't even want to go over. I almost met, met Herbert's yards, but 36 attempts, 59 QB rating, 41% completion percentage. I would love to see how many drops. Two on, Eckler had 200 yards on the ground. That shows our defense drops. That bull crap one drop pass. You know how many passes were broken up? I, it just definitely wasn't one drop pass. Two deflections from Murray, one from Samuel, one from Michael Davis. They felt like a lot more than that. And then Michael Davis had the interception. Off, just an awful game. Awful game. Sacks allowed. We got two sacks. They they got a sack on us. I don't know why he says sacks not allowed, but whatever. That's going to be for me. GG's. I'll see you at the end of the season. I might be cut, to be honest, with how bad I'm playing.